Worrying about how things might go wrong does not help things go right. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. This episode of 7 Good Minutes is being brought to you by Audible, featuring the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Successful people have one thing in common. They read more. How do they find the time? With Audible. Get more books into your life. Start a 30-day trial with Audible today and your first audiobook is free. Cancel anytime and your books are yours to keep forever. To get started, just go to 7goodminutes.com slash audiobook. In this episode of 7 Good Minutes, Aaron Dowdy talks with us about how to stop overthinking everything. Enjoy. And just to give a little bit of a backstory, I went through a lot of pain growing up. I went through a lot of situations, and from that, there are two routes I could have gone. I could have gone down the road of feeling uh, victim, like guilty mentality, like why did this happen, and constantly beat myself up about it. And the other road was the road that I eventually got to, because the pain got so much that I had to learn how to disidentify with the things that have happened, to really feel them, and then to let them go, and not to let that be my story anymore. And the way that I did that was I remember I learned how to meditate and I was so focused on trying to control my thoughts. But what I found was is the more that I tried to control what I was thinking, the more that it actually resisted, the more that I actually was like me versus me. It was like there was almost just resistance that was naturally building. But I remember about two or three days into meditating, I began to just simply observe my thoughts. It was almost like there's the reactive mind and there's this spot that we could get into. There's this little bit of space where we can observe that reactive mind. We can learn to observe what we're thinking of. And I remember that it was a paradox because as I wasn't trying to control my mind, as I was just observing the thoughts that would flow into my mind, they would come in, they would go out, they would eventually start to slow down. So the key to this is understanding that this is not about controlling your mind, that if you try to control, that will build resistance. Instead, allow the thoughts to be there and observe them from a neutral place. Now, in order to understand the neutral place, I've used this analogy before, but imagine that you are sitting at a park on a park bench and you are just there observing your surroundings, just relaxing. If you watch walk people walk by, you're just observing them walk by. You're not judging them. You're not putting labels to them. And if you do have the mind puts a label on them, you're not identified with it. You're just observing what's happening. Now, in the way that a dog might walk by you, you would just observe the dog walking by. You wouldn't try to follow the dog. You wouldn't try to control the way the dog is moving. And the same way, treat the thoughts the same way. Don't try to control the thoughts that come into the mind. Just watch them as they go through. Just allow them to be there. And the paradox is that in allowing them to be there, eventually they will go away more and more. Start to observe the thoughts. Let them be there. Don't resist it. Allow it and watch how with time they begin to lessen more and more. And you get to this space of observation that is a very good feeling. That's what they call presence. You become present to the moment. Now, the other part of this is letting go of the self-image and the label of you being somebody that overthinks and somebody that overanalyzes. When you think of yourself, do you put the label on yourself of I overthink too much and I overanalyze? And if you do, it's okay. But realize you can start to view yourself as this person that's able to observe. And as you observe that part of yourself, you will start to feel that that is who you are. You can let go of the labels and start to really let go of that emotional baggage that comes with it. And you can start to identify with being somebody that responds rather than reacts. There is a huge difference in that. 
Now, another part of this is understanding that if there's something we want to create, if there's something we want to experience and we overanalyze it, we build resistance and we actually create a barrier to us experiencing it. You'll observe that reaction mind and you'll start to then actually observe it from a point of response. That's where the biggest change can be and one of the biggest changes that's been made in my life is realizing that in the moment of stimulus, in the moment of thought, there's a small space and in that space you can decide that that is a part of who you are or that's not a part of who you are. You can decide to think more of it or to think less of it and in that moment you can observe it and that will neutralize everything. So the most powerful technique that you can apply is to simply observe your thoughts, bring the awareness from the head and into the body, feel into it, and then simply trust the course of your life and knowing that everything will happen the way it's meant to happen and your job is to simply decide what things mean to you and decide to be present to the moment. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled view the full video on YouTube in the show notes. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.